Welcome to a lesson on graphing a quadratic function in general form. The graph of a quadratic function forms what's called a parabola shown here, where the parabola may open down or the parabola may open up. A parabola always has a vertex, which is this point here. If the parabola opens down, the vertex is the highest point on the graph. If the parabola opens up, the vertex is the lowest point on the graph. The vertical line passing through the vertex is called the axis of symmetry, which is this vertical line here, as well as here. We say the parabola has symmetry across this line. We can see if we fold the parabola across this line, the two halves match up perfectly. The points where the graph intersects the horizontal or x-axis are called the x-intercepts. And the point where the graph intersects the vertical axis or y-axis is called the y-intercept. When we have a quadratic function in general form, which is the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, if a is positive, the parabola opens up, like this parabola. If a is negative, the parabola opens down, like this parabola. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a, and the ordered pair for the vertex is negative b divided by 2a comma f of negative b divided by 2a. And for review, to find the x-intercepts or horizontal intercepts, we should f of x equal to zero and solve for x, and to find the y-intercept, we should x equal to zero or determine the function value f of zero. The y-intercept is always zero comma c. Let's look at two examples. Here we're given f of x equals x squared minus four. Notice to write this in general form because there's no x term, we could rewrite this as x squared plus zero x minus four. In this form, we should be able to recognize that a is equal to one, b is equal to zero, and c equals negative four. Because a is positive one, we know the parabola opens up, and now let's find the axis of symmetry and the vertex. Again, the axis of symmetry, sometimes just called the axis, is given by x equals negative b divided by two a, and because b is zero and a is one, we have negative zero divided by two times one, which is zero halves, which is equal to zero. So if we graph the axis of symmetry, it would just be the y-axis or vertical axis. Again, given by the equation x equals zero. And because the vertex is on the axis of symmetry, we know the vertex has an x-coordinate of zero and to find the corresponding function value or y-coordinate, we need to determine the function value f of zero. Well, f of zero is just equal to zero squared minus four, which is equal to negative four. Which means the vertex is this point here. Notice how this point is on the vertical axis or y-axis, and therefore for this graph, this is also the vertical or y-intercept. So we know the vertex is zero comma negative four, and for this parabola, so is the vertical intercept. And now let's find the horizontal or x-intercepts. To do this, we set f of x equal to zero and then solve for x. If we set f of x equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals x squared minus four. Solving, we can factor the right side because we have a difference of squares. The right side simplifies to the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus two. The product on the right is equal to zero when x plus two equals zero, or when x minus two equals zero. Solving for x, we have x equals negative two, or x equals positive two, which means the horizontal or x-intercepts are here and here. Notice how one x-intercept is two units to the right of the axis of symmetry, and the other x-intercept is two units to the left of the axis of symmetry, which is a good check to make sure we found the x-intercepts correctly. And the ordered pairs for these two points are negative two comma zero and two comma zero. If we wanted to find additional points on the parabola, we could make a table of values, but let's go ahead and sketch the parabola from the information that we have. This would be half of the parabola, and this would be the other half. Checking this with some software, we can see our graph is correct. Let's look at a second example. Here we're given f of x equals negative x squared plus x plus six, which we could also rewrite as negative one x squared plus one x plus six. So we know that a 
is equal to negative one, b is equal to positive one, and c equals six. Because a is negative, we know the parabola opens down this time. And now let's find the axis of symmetry and the vertex. The axis of symmetry is x equals, again, negative b divided by two a, which is equal to negative one divided by two times negative one, which equals negative one over negative two, which simplifies to positive one half. So the axis of symmetry is this vertical line here. given by x equals one half. And now let's find the vertex. We already know the x coordinate is equal to positive one half. So the vertex has to have the ordered pair one half comma f of one half. So let's determine f of one half. f of one half is equal to the opposite of one half squared plus one half plus six which is equal to negative one fourth plus one half plus six, which equals 25 fourths or 6.25. Because the x coordinate is a fraction, let's also give the y coordinate as a fraction. We'll say the vertex is the order pair one half comma 25 fourths. When it comes to graphing though, it'll probably be easier to use a decimal value of 6.25. So one half comma 6.25 would be this point here. Again, this is the vertex. And now let's find the intercepts. To find the horizontal intercepts or x intercepts, we set f of x equal to zero and solve for x, which gives us zero equals negative x squared plus x plus six. To solve by factoring, we want the x squared term to be positive. So we can either multiply both sides by negative one or factor negative one from the right side. Let's go ahead and factor a negative one from the right side, which will change the sign of each term, giving us negative one times the quantity x squared minus x minus six. And now let's factor. x squared is equal to x times x. The factors of negative six that add to negative one are negative three and positive two, giving us x minus three times x plus two. The product on the right is equal to zero when x minus three equals zero or when x plus two equals zero. Solving for x, we have x equals three, or x equals negative two. These are the x or horizontal intercepts. We have one x-intercept here, and the other is here. Notice how one x-intercept is two and a half units to the right of the axis of symmetry, and the other is two and a half units to the left, which is a nice way to verify we found the x-intercepts correctly. The ordered pairs for these two points are negative two comma zero and three comma zero. And finally, for the vertical intercept or y-intercept, we set x equal to zero or find the function value f of zero, which will always give us the ordered pair zero comma c. But let's go ahead and show the work. f of zero is equal to the opposite of zero squared plus zero plus six, which is equal to six. The vertical intercept is positive six, which is this point here which is the ordered pair zero comma six, as we said earlier, which is always zero comma c. Before we make the graph though, notice how the vertical intercept is half a unit to the left of the axis of symmetry. There must be a corresponding point half a unit to the right of the axis of symmetry, which would be this point here. And now let's go ahead and make our graph. Here's half of the parabola, and here's the other half. Checking this with software, we can see that our graph is correct. I hope you found this helpful.